Kunjal Sharma and I am going to introduce the Heritage Club as Aryavartan Virasat in front of you all. In the name Aryavartan Virasat, the word Aryavartan basically refers to India in Sanskrit and some other historical languages, whereas the word Virasat actually means the country's heritage consists of all the custom and traditions that have continued over many years. So, in other words, we are going to represent the India's heritage. In this presentation, the rich culture of India is showcased by our digital Tassanians and we are going to represent the entire country starting from the north to south and from east to west. So, here we present the great heritage of Great India. Hello everyone, welcome to Aryavartan Virasar. I am Yash Chaudhary. Now, the students of Heritage Club will welcome you to Aryavartan Virasat in different languages spoken in India. Namaste, Aryavartan Virasat e suswagatam asti. Namaste, Aryavartan Virasat me aapka swagat hai. Me di Aryavartan Virasat lo suswagatam. Vanakkam, Aryavartan parambaryatirk. Hello everyone, my name is Abdul Bodo and today I am going to show you a few items from the veg Assami style. This is rice, this is the staple food of Assam, this is kha, it is to be eaten first with the rice, this is alubitika, this is tatni, this is tomato dog, it is made out of tomatoes and it is sweet. This is potato brinjal with tea, this is the famous bhut chulukya pickle and this is black urad dal. This, uh, this is boar tenga. This is thakera tenga. You can see the black thing. That's called the thakera. Jolpan. This is called the jolpan. We have to mix the poha with curd, gur, and banana. Here's the sweet dish of Asham. Asam. This is khi pitha. And this is moong dal pitha. So I am about to eat it. First I will have the pot. So here I am finished with the yummy meal sipping the thakya denga juice. Thank you. Hello friends. I am Vanshika Chaudhary from grade 4. I belong to colorful and vibrant state, Rajasthan. Today, I am here with Rajasthani cuisine. In this thali, there are so many mouth-watering items. Let's see what is there in this thali. Wow! Delicious yummy dal bati, delicious chuma, mouth watering gajar ka halwa, ker sangri ki sabji, rice, bajje ki roti, and crispy papad. Really, it tastes good. You must also taste this delicious Rajasthani food. Thank you.
Hello everyone, this is Priya Singh of grade 10 and here is my model, the Sachi Stupa. The great stupa at Sachi is one of the oldest stone structures in India. It is an important monument in the Indian architecture. It was originally commissioned by the Mauryan Emperor Ashoka the Great in the 3rd century before the Common Era. It is a Buddhist complex situated at the hilltop at Sachi town in the Raisin district of the state Madhya Pradesh. The main body of the stupa symbolizes the cosmic mountain as it is topped by the Harnika or the triple umbrella which symbolizes the three rules of Buddhism, the Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha. Thank you. Namaskar. My name is Khanak. Today I am here to share some information about Kutub Minar. Kutubuddin Ebuk. The first Muslim ruler of Delhi commenced the construction of the Qutub Minar in 1200 AD but could only finish the basement. His successor Iltutmush added three more stories and in 1368, Feroz Shah Tughlaq constructed the fifth and the last story of this building. There are 379 stairs inside the minaret to reach the top. The Qutub Minar was perceived as the symbol of the beginning of Muslim rule in India. There is a 2,000 years old iron pillar in the complex that hasn't rusted in over two centuries. Thanks. Hello everyone. My name is Alpesh Sharma. I am in Heritage Club. I am here to tell you about heritage of Rajasthan, India. The Bhatnir Fort is at Hanumangarh, Rajasthan. The old name of Hanumangarh was Bhatnir, which means Fortress of Bhati. Believed to be 1700 years old, it is considered to be one of the oldest forts of India. The ancient fort situated on the bank of river Ghagar was built between 255 AD to 285 AD by the Kibuba dynasty. There he constructed a safe castle for himself, which came to be known as Bhatnir. The entire fort is built of bricks covering an area of 52 bigas. Thank you. Good morning everyone. My name is Harshit Dharan of grade 9B, who is here to tell you about the Sun Temple or Surya Mandir. It is located in one of the famous cities of India known as Gwalior in Madhya Pradesh. It was constructed by an industrialist known as G.D. Birla in 1988. As you can see, its exterior is made up of redstone and its interior is made up of marble which gives it a exotic look. It is famous for its architecture because a lot of carving is being done on it like 24 wheels representing 24 hours in a day, 365 idols of gods representing 365 days of a year. As the name suggests, it is dedicated towards the sun, holy sun god. Thank you. Hope you like this information. Today I will be going to tell you some points about Jaisalmer Fort. Jaisalmer Fort is the second oldest fort which in Rajasthan. It was built in 1156 AD by the Rajput Rabal Jaisal from whom it derived its name. It is located at an altitude of around 250 meters on the top of a hill. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its popular architecture and the significance it had during the course of history. The structure is a fortification consisting of three layers with the outermost being made from entirely made from stones and because it had to protect against from enemies. Alauddin Khilji had attacked on this fort as well as obtained control for a time period of almost nine years. This fort is standing in the middle of the endless sands of Thar Desert. Thank you.
Greetings everyone. My name is Devrej Vasanta and I study in class 9B. Today we are going to talk about the Gagarov Fort. The Gagarov Fort is a hill and water fort which is situated in the Jalawar district of Rajasthan in the Haloti region of India. This fort was constructed during the 12th century and was constructed by King Bijaldev. This fort was ruled by the Khinchi kingdom for 300 years. The last ruler is reported to be King Achilda Kenchi. This fort was surrounded from three sides with water and the fourth side from the forest. The two towers blend with the Mukandra hills of the Vindhya range. The mountain itself is the foundation of this fort. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Yash Chaudhary from Gate 9. I have made a model of India Gate and Amar Jawan Jyoti. India Gate The India Gate is a war memorial located astride on the Rajpath on the eastern side of the ceremonial axis of New Delhi. It stands as a memorial to 90,000 soldiers of the British India who led their lives between 1914 and 1921 at the First World War. The names of 13,300 servicemen, including few soldiers of the British India, are inscripted on the India Gate, designed by Sir Edwin Lutyens. People all over the world come to Delhi to see this National War Memorial and enjoy its beauty. Amar Jawan Jyoti Amar Jawan Jyoti is also a memorial conceptualized and constructed of after the Indo-Pakistan War of 1971. When many soldiers of India led their lives in the war, this memorial was constructed for their memory so that people all over the world can remember them while seeing it every time. It was constructed on 1971 and inaugurated on 26 January 1972 on the Republic Day of India to mark the presence of the soldiers of the India who led their lives in the Indo-Pakistan war. I am proud to be Indian. I also respect and salute to the soldiers who led their lives for India without thinking about their own lives. I thank to all of them as because of them only today we are living in a great India. Thank you and have a nice day. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Puri 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 Puri
जद दे खूब न कि लाल पीली अखियां जद दे खूब न कि लाल पीली अखियां जद दे खूब न कि लाल पीली अखियां मैं नहीं डरूंगा पहला दिखाओ अखियां मैं नहीं डरूंगा पहला दिखाओ My name is Arav and today I would like to sing a Bengali song. Jodi tor dak, jodi tor dak, shune kyo na sene tobe ekla chalo re. Jodi tor dak, shune kyo na sene tobe ekla chalo re. Tobe ekla chalo, ekla chalo, ekla chalo, ekla chalo re. तो वे अकला चलो अकला चलो अकला चलो अकला चलो रे जोड़ी तोड़ तक सुने क्यों ना से है तो वे अकला चलो रे जोड़ी क्यों कोता ना कोई ओरे 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 बागा क्यों कोता ना कोई जोड़ी सोबाई ताके मुख फिराए सोबाई करे पोए तो भी पोरन खोले उठाए मुख फुटे तू मोनेर को था एकला बोलोरी उठाए मुख फुटे तू मोनेर को था एकला बोलोरी चोड़ी तोड़ दाग चोड़ी तोड़ दाग शुने क्यों ना से है तो भी एकला चालोरी
Good morning everyone. I am Angel Sharma, student of grade 9th B and I am going to tell you about Ashoka the Great. Ashoka and his empire. During Ashoka's rule, the empire briefly controlled the major urban hubs and arteries of the Indian subcontinent except the deep south. Maurya dynasty As we all know Ashoka belongs to Maurya dynasty. The Chandragupta Maurya was the founder of Maurya dynasty. Bindusara was the father of Ashoka and Ashoka was the third king of Maurya dynasty. Ashoka the Great Ashoka also known as Ashoka the Great was an Indian emperor of the Maurya dynasty. Son of Bindusara who ruled almost all the Indian subcontinent. The Kalinga War. Ashoka's reign as emperor began with a series of wars. He conquered more and more lands and added them to his empire. The Kalinga War of 260 BC was the worst of all. Change in thoughts and beliefs. The huge loss of life and suffering witnessed on the battlefield of Kalinga War made Ashoka turn away from the wars. So he was deeply influenced by the Buddhism and he adopted the Dharma principles. Effects of Kalinga War those were rise of dharma principles spread of buddhism and Ashoka as the administrator The dharma principle includes non-violence tolerance of all sects obedience to elders and so on spread of buddhism Ashoka built shrines and monasteries and inscribed buddhist teachings on rocks and pillars in many places of the country He sent missionaries to countries and even his own son Kunal became a monk. Ashoka the administrator. Ashoka taught and convinced people to love and respect all living things. He insisted on the recognition of sanctity of all human life. Ashoka banned sport hunting and thus protected the wildlife. He became vegetarian and most of the other people became vegetarian on their own. Now let us Now let us talk about Ashoka's chakra. It is also known as wheel of the dharma and it symbolizes the 24 virtues in Buddhism. And the Ashoka stump which is emblem of India is consist of four Asiatic lions. This represents power, courage, confidence and pride. Hello, my name is Gorang Sharma and I am from Heritage Club. Today I am going to show you the rulers of Rajasthan The state of Rajasthan is as famous for its colorful culture and festivals as its royal heritage that inscribed the history of Rajasthan The mesmerizing forts and palaces of Rajasthan proudly tell the mightiness and the valor of the Rajput kings and chiefs of the bygone era of Rajasthan The Rajput kings are not only known for their courage and high esteem but also for their art and culture which shows in the creation of some of the most illustrious and remarkable forts and palaces in the royal era of Rajasthan which still stands proudly Hamid Dev Chauhan 1283 to 1301 Hamid Dev Chauhan also known as Hamid Deva was the legendary king of the part of Rajasthan in the medieval era and was the last king of the Chauhan dynasty to 1468 Also known as the Hindu Sultan and Abhinav Bharata Charya Rana Kumbhaur Kumkaran was the most eminent ruler of Mewar at that era. Vikramaditya 1501 to 1556. Hem Chandra Vikramaditya also known as Hemu was the Hindu general of the Adil Shah Suri. He famously won the 22 battles for the Adil Shah against the Afghans and Mughals. In 1556 he defeated the army of Akbar in the battle of Delhi. and then earned the name Vikramaditya. He is 397. Maharana Pratap Singh was the king of Mewar, the most powerful kingdom in the Rajasthan at that era. He becomes the legendary king due to his fighting attitude against the mighty Akbar when nearly all of the Rajput kings and chiefs accepted the supremacy of Akbar and entered into his vassalage. Maharaja Surajmal 1707-1763 The Jat King Suraj Mal also known as Sujan Singh was the powerful ruler of Bharatpur located in present day Rajasthan. He is famously described as the Plato of the Jat people and the Jat Odysseus. 
by the modern historians and the writers due to his extraordinary political act. Namaskar dear viewers my name is Anita Singh and I am in charge of Heritage Club India has a vast heritage versatile students of SRN International School have tried to showcase vivid culture of different states of India through videos and images we have a motive behind it to enhance their knowledge about our rich cultural heritage through fluent expression dancing drawing and technical skills kindly do like and share their efforts thank you